Hi guys, so just after I uploaded the last video, talking about September the 30th and October the 2nd, potential events for London, Hawaii, the West Coast on the 30th, and the East Coast of New York on the 2nd. Now get this report, the US pushes back the National Wireless Alert Test to October the 3rd, the day after I think this event is going to happen. What are the chances that, you know, they plan to do an emergency test, but schedule it for the day after the emergency? The Trump administration has delayed until next month plans to send a message to all US cell phones testing a previously unused presidential alert system that aims to warn the public about national emergencies, officials said on Monday. The test message was originally scheduled for 2.18pm, that's Eastern Time, that's also a 9-11 uh, backwards, 8 and 1, 9, 2 separate into 2 ones, 11, that would also be 11.18 on Pacific time or Pacific time, which is again 9-11, so double on both sides. But it's being pushed back to the same time on October 3rd. So 2.18 Eastern time, October 3rd, they plan to do this emergency test. However, if my interpretation turns out to be correct, then it may be that the alert comes too late. Of course, the other interpretation for that same date is October the 11th, which would be seven days after the alert, which again, a week's warning would be, you know, it would fit into that kind of timeline. Do a test, seven days later, do the real thing, or do the real thing, and then schedule the test for the next day, but obviously it would have been too late by then. So Florence came ashore in Northern Carolina on Friday as a hurricane and has caused widespread flood flooding in North and South Carolina. FEMA, which will send the alert, said last week that the messages would bear the headline presidential alert and that phones will make a loud tone and have a special vibration. The test has been scheduled to ensure that the alert system would work in the event of a national emergency and US cell phone users will not be able to opt out. The message will read, this is a test of national wireless emergency alert system. No action is needed. Former President Barack Obama signed a law in 2016 requiring FEMA to create a system allowing the president to send cell phone alerts regarding public safety emergencies. The country's wireless emergency alert system was started in 2012, of course, and has issued over 36,000 alerts for situations such as missing children, extreme weather, and natural disasters, but never a presidential directive. Cell phone users can opt out of natural disasters or missing children alerts. In its statement last week on the test messages, FEMA said the presidential alerts can be used only for national emergencies, and the president has sole responsibility for determining when such alerts are used. So, as I said, if they schedule it for October the 3rd and something happens on October the 2nd, it could be that the test doesn't actually happen on the 3rd and the real thing happens the day before. Or it could be the test is on the 3rd and then a week later on the 11th, the real thing happens. It could be that it doesn't happen or we'll always have to look at the possibilities. So those are the potentials for some events. Those are some um, suspicious activities taking place around the same time. We'll see, um, obviously, within the next two weeks. You guys, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.